The Pixel 10 Pro XL is getting close to launch, and one of the biggest questions people have is about its new Tensor G5 chip. Can it finally make the Pixel series powerful enough to compete with the fastest phones on the market? At first glance, things looked promising, but when we look at the actual benchmark numbers, the answer isn't that clear. Google is officially announcing the Pixel 10 lineup on August 20th, and the main highlight is the new Tensor G5 processor. What makes this chip special is that it's the first one Google has fully designed on its own, without Samsung's help. On top of that, it's being made by TSMC, the same company that produces Apple's A-Series chips and Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors. Just this fact alone had many fans excited, thinking this could finally close the performance gap. For years, Pixel phones have been criticized for being slower than their competitors. The older Tensor chips, which Google made with Samsung, always lagged behind Apple and Qualcomm in speed tests. When the news broke that Google had switched to TSMC, many believed this would finally be the year Pixel caught up. But fresh benchmark results tell a different story. The Pixel 10 Pro XL recently showed up on Antutu, a popular performance testing app. It scored 1,140,286 points. Compared to last year's Pixel 9 Pro XL, which scored 983,628, that's a 15% improvement. On paper, that looks like good progress. A year-over-year -year increase of more than 150,000 points is solid. The problem is when you compare it to other flagship phones of 2025, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite, which powers many of the top Android phones this year, is way ahead. The Red Magic 10 Pro currently leads the charts with a score of 2,662,615, Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra is also high up there, with 2,164,612 points. This means Google's new chip is not just slightly behind its more than 1 million points. Behind the fastest Android phones, that's a huge difference and puts the Pixel 10 Pro XL in an awkward position. The big question then becomes, is this chip fast enough for a phone that costs as much as a Galaxy or an iPhone? Fans have mixed feelings. Some were very excited when they heard Google move to TSMC, expecting a huge jump in performance, something close to Snapdragon or Apple's A-Series. Others argue that benchmarks don't tell the whole story. Pixel phones have always focused less on raw speed and more on Google's strengths, like advanced AI, great cameras, and smooth software. Google itself has said this before, last year. Sonia Jobin Putra, one of Google's product managers, explained that the company doesn't build chips to win benchmarks. Instead, they make them for efficiency and to power Pixel-exclusive features like faster photo processing, better voice recognition, and improved battery life. So while the Tensor G5 may not beat Qualcomm or Apple in raw power, it could still give Pixel owners a very smooth and enjoyable experience. After all, most people don't spend their time running heavy performance tests. For everyday use social media, chatting, browsing, and taking photos even last year's Tensor G4 was more than capable. That's why you don't often hear Pixel owners complaining that their phones feel slow. On the contrary, many are very happy with the extra AI features that make Pixel stand out. But the situation is different for power users, gamers, and people. Who want the absolute fastest phones will probably be disappointed. For them, the Pixel 10 Pro 40 isn't the best choice. Devices like the Red Magic 10 Pro or the Galaxy S25 Ultra clearly offer much more performance. This matters even more now because Google is charging premium prices for the Pixel lineup. In the past, Pixels were seen as good value great cameras and features at lower prices. Now, the Pixel 10 Pro XL is priced on the same level as Samsung and Apple at that price. People expect not just good features, but also top tier performance. So, while the Tensor G5 is definitely an upgrade over last year, it might not satisfy everyone. For loyal Pixel fans, it will probably be just fine. They'll enjoy Google's AI features, excellent cameras, and years of software updates. But, for people who only care about the fastest speed and gaming power, the Pixel 10 Pro XL may not be enough. In the end, the story isn't about Samsung holding Google back. Now that Google has designed its own chip and moved production to TSMC, it's clear that this is simply Google's approach. They're not trying to win benchmarks, they're building phones that match their vision of what's important. The Pixel 10 Pro XL is faster than before. But whether it's fast enough depends entirely on what you value most in a phone.